champion and the these ranged champions are both just going to be instantly getting targeted every single time. <laughs> So it could end up being a fairly snowball-y game. When you have this many melees in a match, oftentimes it ends up degenerating itself it's a into a stat check. It's an absolute brawl. I am so excited here. We are kicking off game number one, MDK versus PSG here. We'll have to see if this draft is going to work out for MDK. They are really cooking with it. So already experimenting a lot, but are going to be looking for the grubs here. Mirwin on the roam is going to be here first, and Junja is going to have to get out of there. He is in trouble, does clone away, forced to flash. The team was a bit slow on the rotation. He's fight, fighting though. Suba on the top side, and Woody's going to go forward with the Glacial. He does put the pass onto him. Elio, you're going to get stunned up. In goes the Akali, but Maple's Ooh. in trouble. He gets stunned against the wall, and Maple is down to almost no health at all. Does get out of there for now, but Albert flashes over the wall and grabs the first blood for MDK. Will be traded back, though you have to think is Alvaro now trying to run for Howie though playing bodyguard here he comes in and PSG are in trouble Woody's died to Supa MDK are wiping the map with PSG three straight kills they crushed the fight and are going to be able to grab the grubs as well an absolute disaster for PSG we don't know if that was fully spotted by them but they're back here on the grubs it's just those uh, two that already are remaining so MDK has already grabbed four they're going to try to look for six but PSG fight. is coming in here look at Alvaro and Frescawi in the back line already here onto Woody and on the other side it's the ulti coming out from Junja Aja is just chasing after Supa trying to keep him out of there as Maple is skirmishing here on the side and Mirwin and Mirwin's getting burst down the Hextech ultimatum comes through, but the impale is massive from El Yoya, but it doesn't even matter. PSG running over MDK as back-to-back -back grubs fights go the opposite way this time. We have some of these eternal players as they're going to be dropping the Herald down on bot side. Aja trying to keep the wave away, but it won't really matter for long. Junja, Woody, Betty all coming down, and Supa may be actually caught out. He has to flash away, Over but Junja out. chasing after him. And here comes Aja. He's got nowhere to go. Frascawi trying to buy some time for him as Junja is getting low. Supa can't, can't quite finish him off. Junja gets the kill. They force the flash. They do take down one tower and make it a second charge, but at the same time, it's going to cost them multiple kills. And how much can PSG get off of this? Oh, yeah, and now Maple's, Maple's going for fighting. Mirwin, Mirwin very low. Aja's coming in for the reinforcements, but Maple doesn't even need it. Executes Mirwin in the top lane. Okay. Kowie trying to threaten the back line. This is getting a little bit awkward. Junja has been split out from the rest of the team. Nice clone, does dodge away, and he's going to get a double knock up here on Freskawi. And on the other side, it's Mirwin go. going after Aja. Junja's in a lot of trouble. Woody's down already. Junja goes back in, tries to flash out, but he can't do it. Maple's in the back line, does get one kill with the perfect execution. Now going back in with the Shuriken flip. Can he do it in the 1v2? It doesn't look like it. Maple tries to make it happen, but he's down. And it's Betty and Aja versus the world here. El Yoya trying to chase after him. Mirwin waiting for those cooldowns can't quite go in to finish him off but Matt take the fight and I will really punish you if you are out of place Maple now looking here for Frescawi. Frescawi trying to retreat back towards his team. The Shuriken Flip does hit. The Dominus is going to be popped. Alvaro is here, and I think that oh, may think mean he, he backs it. up. But Junja's going in. They have the TP coming through. A nice Magnet Storm interrupts oh! him, snaps him out of the air, and in comes El Yoya, stunning Junja. He's going to go back in, trying to get some healing. He can't get it done. Anja's in the middle of everyone, but that's not where you want to be. MDK crushing through. Uh, Matt here at Worlds. Uh, again, looking for the invade. Going to be stunning up. Crash down comes through and the ultimate is going to be used from Ziggs pushing Junja back but the Enchanted Crystal Arrow comes out and I do think he's overextended here Alvaro is in no trouble way. he's been playing great but overextended there Supa trying to get some damage in El Yoya trying to look to go over the wall but he gets interrupted on the dash three man impaled but who cares no one's there until just now Frescawi comes through Maple on the side dodges out from the hookshot from Mirwin as Supa's throwing bombs over the top trying to get something done but he can't quite do it El Yoya flashing over going to try to get to safety Shuriken Flip does connect and the perfect execution is there Sun to the wall, but El Yoya has got nowhere to go. Alvaro giveth and Alvaro taketh away and make great play after great play, but an overextension there nets PSG a team fight win. And we'll have to see how much more they can get because they're sieging mid. They're going to get at least a tier one off of this. Baron power play, curse of play in seems to be one of the themes. Aja is probably going to oh, die here. Might Mirwin have gone too is far. Here. Maple is going to go in over the wall potentially. He's going to go in for it, but I don't think he should have. Aja is there. He's in the shroud. Betty's around, but Betty's too low to really go forward. Now the pass has come, and he's back. Alvaro making good on the mistake from earlier. Finds the re engages. The over chase from PSG just kills them.
And Supa's got his Seekers now as well, so he's not going to be even difficult uh, to stay alive. You know, if they do find him, we can see Mirwin jumping in onto Aja. They're going to look for him. They send him into the wall, and he is just getting erased. The true damage comes through. Benny flashes out from the Impale, but doesn't even have enough damage to really threaten El Yoya. It doesn't look like it just yet, but now the Cyclone coming through from Junja. Alvaro trying to threaten on the side, does land the Shattering Strike, and a nice setup from him. It's a dunk from the Ziggs. The ulti over the top gets multiple kills. MDK are going to close out game number one. Beautiful final fight here from Mad. They were ahead early. It got a little hairy in the mid game, but ultimately another solid game. They stay undefeated in playing so far. It's a great start to the series from MDK. A back and forth game, but Mad took over in the light game, choking out PSG, not giving them any options. When PSG finally exposed themselves, Mad pounce, burst down the Udir, take the team fight. They'll take the Nexus and game number one and move one game away from the World Swiss stage.